In this video, you're going to learn how to summarize and query multiple papers using LinkChain. Let's go. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to import our dependencies and then we're going to start with summarization first and then we're going to go for querying. And the papers that we're going to be working with are these three papers. We have the LLM plus P paper, Empowering Large Language Models with Optimal Planning Proficiency. And then we have the prompt learning to prompt for visual language models from 2022. And finally, we have a recent paper scaling transformer to a million tokens and beyond with RMT. So these are the three papers we're going to be summarizing and then querying. So to get started with this, it's actually quite simple. All we're going to do is we're going to import our dependencies. So we're going to import the load summarize chain for summarizing using link chain uh, from the summarize package from the summarize module. Then we're going to import the PyPDF loader for doing the loading of the unstructured PDF. And then we're going to import OpenAI for the access to the LLM. In this case, we're going to be using ChatGPT and prompt template in case we want to do custom summaries for the papers that we're going to be working with. After that, we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be importing Glob, which we're going to use to loop over all the PDFs in a folder. And that's pretty much what we need. Now, for the actual summarization, we start by setting up our LLM with OpenAI. We set the temperature to 0 0.2, which is like relatively low because we want the summarization to be as precise as possible. All right. And then we're going to set up our function for the summarization. And to do that, what we're going to do is the approach we're going to take is very simple. We're going to just have a folder with the PDFs, with the papers that we want to summarize. And we're going to loop over that folder and get the summaries for each individual paper. So we're going to set up a function. The function is going to be called summarize PDFs from folder. And then we're going to feed it the PDF folder. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to set up an empty list that's going to contain our summaries. Then we're going to loop over all the PDFs in the PDF folder. And for each PDF, we're going to load it with PyPDF loader. Then we're going to um, set up the indexing with LangChain by first loading and splitting the documents into chunks and then um, running the summarization chain. In this case, I'm using MapReduce, which I found to be like something that works very well. And then we're going to run the summarization. So that's it. We're just loading the document and splitting into chunks. And then we're using the load summarize chain to create the chain for the summarization with the LLM that we set up. And then we're running that summarization chain and saving that to the empty list that we set up in the beginning. And that's what I'm doing here. And I'm also printing that summary just because, you know, I'm going to set up a print here and that is it. And then finally, we're going to return the summaries. Okay, so that's perfect. Now let's test our function. So I'm just going to call the summarization function and feed it the PDFs folder where I have all the papers that I just mentioned. And let's run it. So now it's running. I'm going to do a magic trick so that this thing goes a little bit faster. So, jajan. Okay, so we got our first summary. This paper presents co-op, a future learning method. It uses learnable context vectors to optimize pre-trained visual language models for downstream image recognition tasks. Experiments on 11 data sets show that co-op outperforms handcrafted prompts and the linear probe model and is robust to domain shifts. Paper also discusses various research papers related to computer vision, including topics like natural adversary examples, etc. So first summary, perfectly aligned with this paper, learning to prompt for visual language models. So it talks about co-op which is this context optimization framework thing, which is an approach for adapting clip-like visual language models for downstream image recognition tasks. So awesome. And then we have these two other summaries that we can take a look here. So it presents the recurrent memory transformer model designed to process sequence length longer than a million tokens. That's perfect. That's exactly what that paper is about. And then we have the this paper introduces LLM plus P framework that combines the strengths of large language models and classical planners to solve long horizon planning problems. All of these are perfectly aligned with the papers that we have here in this folder. So this is awesome. And now that we've done this, 
Uh, instead of having the summaries like this on a terminal or whatever, we're going to save them to file. So we're going to save all the summaries into one txt file. So I'm going to loop over the summaries and then I'm going to write it and then I'm going to jump a few lines so that the summaries are separated. And that is pretty much what I'm going to do. So now if I come back, if I come here on VS Code and I go to summaries and I open this to my side, you can see the summaries here and we can make it pretty by having this like this side by side. So we have our first, our first summary about the first paper. And obviously we can, you know, organize this output as, as, you know, as well as we want. If I was doing some specific research on these topics, I might save these in some, uh, in some specific way. But right now it's just for you guys to see what these summaries look like. And I'm actually, I already checked the outputs before, so I'm quite satisfied with the quality of the summaries. And as a researcher, someone that does independent research, I mean, this is just a priceless tool to have. And if you can have it as code instead of something that you have to subscribe for, etc., you have much more customization options and things that you can do. So it's pretty cool. So I have the three summaries here for the papers. That's awesome. And now what we want to do is we want to query those PDFs. We want to query the papers, right? Because it's not just about reading some random summary, but if you're actually doing research or if you're actually trying to understand what the papers are talking about, you need the ability to interact with those papers, right? And there's a bunch of tools out there like chat PDF that I said to that I actually really like because you can have actual conversations with the PDFs and that can be quite interesting. But I found that just like the ability to quickly query PDFs from a folder is actually really powerful. So that's what we're going to be doing. So to do that, we're going to import the vector store index creator for the indexing and vectorization of the PDFs so that we can query them. And we're going to import this pipe PDF directory loader from Langchain, which allows us to load multiple PDFs from a directory at just with Langchain, which is just awesome. Okay, so we're gonna run this. And now I'm gonna set up my loader using the PyPDF directory loader and feeding the .pdfs folder. And I'm going to load the documents and do the chunking and create the vector store index. We're using this vector store index creator uh, class and then calling the from loaders method and feeding that a list inside which I have the loader that we were just talking about. And, oh, sorry. And now I can run this. So now this is indexing all the papers that were here. And again, I'm going to skip the part where it's running. So essentially it's using uh, Chroma to do the vectorization. So now let's go for the first query of the first paper. So to give you guys a little bit of context, so I will be querying this paper. So this is the we propose context optimization approach to adapting clip-like vision language models for downstream image recognition tasks. Concretely, COP models um, a prompt context words with learnable vectors while entire pre-trained parameters are kept are kept fixed. All right, cool. So I'm just going to say, what is the core idea behind the co-op context optimization paper? That's all I'm going to say. And now I'm querying the paper and I got my response. Core idea is a, to model a prompt context words with learnable factors while keeping the entire pre-trained parameters fixed in order to adapt clip-like clip -like vision language models for downstream image recognition tasks. That is exactly what this paper is about and that makes total sense for this paper. So this is a perfect question and answer result. Now I'm going to be querying the second paper. So what I'm going to be saying is, okay, so I'm going to be querying this paper, scaling transformer to a million tokens. And all I'm going to ask is what is the central idea that can allow for scaling transformers to a million tokens? It's a very general superficial idea, but like just, you know, just because. And I'm querying now. And the central idea is to use recurrent memory transformer architecture to extend the context length of BERT, allowing it to store and process both local and global information across up to 2 million tokens. So that is perfect. And that is actually what's in the first page of the paper, essentially. And that's really cool because I mean, we're just, we're using 
just one centralized way to query multiple papers. So I can imagine this creation of, you know, some database that I can query with natural language and it knows all the papers from some research that I'm doing, whatever the case may be, this is really interesting. Okay, so for the last paper, let's just ask something like, according to the LLM plus P paper, how do you empower large language models with optimal planning efficiency? Actually, I meant to say proficiency. Um, and so, yeah. And now we're going to query and we get the results. So it takes in a natural language description of a planning problem that returns a correct plan for solving that problem in natural language. It does so by converting language description into a file written in the plain planning domain definition language, PDDL, then leveraging classical planners to quickly find a solution and then translating the found solution back into natural language. Now, oh, this is really cool. Pipe DDL, planning domain definition language, leveraging classical methods to quickly find a solution and translating back into natural language. So yeah, that's perfect. And as far as summarization and queries go, this is how you do that. And it's essentially, it's very simple. Uh, I'm going to set up a repo with this so you guys can access it and play around with the code. All right, guys. So that's it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Cheers.